A common way to boost skin color is using an HSL adjustment. In this video, I will share how you can use the HSL adjustment, but I will also share a totally different and maybe a better method to quickly boost skin color. Let's kick off with this image and add an HSL adjustment. The idea of the HSL adjustment is that it can shift colors, change saturation and lightness of colors in the image. We can do this for all colors, but we can also specify a color range. Before selecting a color range, let's first reset the color shift by double clicking on the control point. The HSL adjustment dialog comes with a selection of base colors which we can target. Let's select the red color as skin will be the closest to red. Once we have selected a color, the affected range is shown in the HSL wheel. But more importantly, the picker becomes available. I can now click on the picker button and select the color from the skin. Notice how this has affected the color range. To boost up the colors of the skin, we can now increase the saturation and slightly adjust the lightness. Looks pretty cool. A couple of tips before I show you another technique. Let's open up the HSL adjustment again. So the first tip, especially for new users, is that you can adjust the target colors by moving the controllers. An easy way to see what you're targeting in the image is to completely shift the color. You can now clearly see the targeted areas in a very awful bluish color. The outer two control nodes are the transition nodes, meaning the effect will start gradually from here and will be fully applied from the next node. You can click and drag in the middle line to move all nodes, useful when you want to shift all the nodes. Once you're happy with the targeted area, you can reset the color shift and boost the skin color by increasing saturation as mentioned earlier. Another great tip is to save this as a preset, so it can be easily reapplied. I will call this Skin Boost 2. Let's remove the adjustment and reapply it again using the preset we just created. Presets can be found under the Adjustments panel and if I open up the HSL section, we can see the Skin Boost preset I just created. After I click on it, it is immediately applied. Pretty awesome! So this is pretty straightforward. But let me share another method which works well with portrait images. It might seem complicated at first, but once you get the hang of it, or save it as a macro, it is super easy to apply. The idea is to isolate the skin tones and then blend them in again, so the skin tones will become stronger. We're going to start with an invert adjustment. After I apply the invert adjustment, the skin area really pops up. As we don't want to change or mess with the colors, let's add an HSL adjustment on top of it and desaturate the colors. So basically we get a black and white image. The result we have right now looks a bit like an inverted mask. And with the right blend mode, we should be able to filter out the skin area. In order to be able to blend this, we need to group these two adjustments. Once we have a group, we can now apply a blend mode to this result. The blend mode we can now use is the screen blend mode. The screen blend mode works with the highlights and leaves the darker areas untouched. This is why most of the image has become super bright except the skin area. Pretty cool. As we only have the skin color and the rest very close to white, we can apply this result in Multiply Blend Mode. Multiply does exactly the opposite of screen. The highlights have a minimal effect and mainly the darker areas will be blended in. In order to apply this in Multiply Blend Mode, let's group the group so we can add the Multiply Blend Mode on top of the Screen Blend Mode. Awesome! 
that looks exactly what we're looking for. Let me disable the group and see the before and the after. Depending on your image, the effect could be too strong. You can of course dim it by lowering the opacity of the groups, but you could also adjust the blend mode of the group with the screen to add. The add blend mode is usually not so strong as the screen blend mode, which in this case lowers the effect. I think for this image, the add blend mode works much better. Interestingly enough, we can swap the blend modes of these two groups to brighten the skin area instead of boosting the colors. So if I change the top group to add and change the group below to multiply, you see what I mean. In this case, the add blend mode is way too strong for the top group. So let me change this blend mode to screen. That looks much better. As you also might have noticed, this reverse process brightens quite a bit, also the darker areas. But with the help of blend ranges, we can remove the effect from the darker areas. That looks pretty awesome. As mentioned earlier, this method can be easily recorded as a macro. I will share a link to the macro in the description. Let's see how quickly that works. I will remove the current adjustment and double click on the macro in the library panel. Pretty neat. Time to try this effect on a different photo. I'll paste a different portrait photo and apply the techniques shared today. So the first thing we can do is apply our HSL preset. Nice. I will press delete so it doesn't get applied as I will try out the macro. There you have it, the adjustments have been applied to the photo. The macro applies the second group in add blend mode. However, we can change this to screen, but we can also use color dodge, which gives this very nice effect for this image. By adjusting the opacities of these two groups, we can control the final effect. As a final suggestion, you can also adjust the blend range of the top group, as I'm doing right now, which makes the effect really subtle. I hope you liked this technique and enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and until the next video.